Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Hammer Down Pro's Tabletop Review. Um, we're gonna jump right into this one today because I got a little special treat for you. I got uh, actually brought some, some special guest with the knife that we're reviewing today. The knife we're gonna review is the K-Bar Next Gen 1221. Um, honestly, I gotta tell you, this is my favorite K-Bar combat knife. It's not my favorite setup with the sheath, but it's definitely my favorite K-Bar combat. I know people who like the US Marine Corps. They're into the USMC one, the old fashioned one, the one that's been out since World War II. I ain't got no problem with that. Leather stack with that one and everything like this, but this one is like more of an upgraded, more aggressive one. So let's run the specs because we got some stuff to do with this. All right, so first of all, not a bad nylon sheath um uh i call it back and forth so we can actually do the knife in there this way or the knife in there that way depending on which way you have it in there either way it'll go in there that's not a problem um nylon with the um um grommets and it's kind of very sturdy i think i had this in here and it was not any shake so it's pretty good put together sheath um, it actually has the attachment, so if you wanted to wear that horizontally on your back belt, you could. You could actually wear that across your back, across your back on the belt. And I have the attachments to put it on. I just didn't want to dig them out. Okay, so good sheath. Sheath gets it. Now, <clears throat> it's um, 11 uh, and some change with the, width, with the length. The blade length is seven inches. Most of them are. Um, as with all of the K bars that are the fighting knives, they are uh, clip points. And um, this is actually 440A stainless D2 steel with this bead blasted coating, which I'm not a fan of because it looks too much like it was just like spray painted. But I know guys who have stripped it down and just put it back down to the metal and oil it and whatever. We, I, I don't want to get into that. Um, the thickness here is 0.17. Uh, so it's a pretty good knife set up, partial serrated, definitely a sharp uh, edge curve, a really deep, I call it a thumb blood groove because you can actually run your thumb into it. The, the, it's a thumb blood groove. So it's on both sides. It's a pretty deep blood groove. The synthetic, almost like a rubbery type uh, uh, handle material instead of the leather that's on the old USMC K bars. And uh, the hilt and the guard are actually tapered. If you can look at it from the top or the sides, you can see where they're grooved out. So when I grip this, it doesn't dig into my hand. It doesn't dig into my hand because it's actually grooved out. There's a, it, it's grooved, it's smoothed. Like it's ground down or, you know, it's, 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 it's finished out. Same as the top, same as the bottom. And you got a pretty good grip and you still aren't getting that guard to bite into your hand. You grip it low down by pommel and you can go there. And even if you choke up on it, and go here because of how they finished that, that over mold and everything. It's really, really a good, solid fighting knife. Um, yeah, you have the uh, hole there for your lanyard. If you can look at it from the side, the upper finger guard and the lower pommel guard are kind of overdone. They kind of dip out and, you know, kind of got that, that hole almost like a overbuilt scabbard of a, of a, of a, of a, a overbuilt uh, handle of a, of a sword almost like I like how they did that um you see a couple scratches on there because I actually did carry this a couple times on a couple fishing trips and did some stuff with it but uh made in the USA 1221 and special guest star today just for comparison we have ta -da! The USMC original of the K-Bar. Um, this is, as far as I know, the designate is just USMC. And for comparison's sake, look at the stuff that I'm talking about. So we have a pinned rat tail there. It's rat tails. This one is 
dropped and pinned. Um, this one is uh, dropped and pinned also, um, but it has the overmold there with the lanyard hole in it. The guard here is a thinner piece of the steel, probably the same steel that, that the, um, the knife is made of. Here, it's like overdone and it gives you, it feels like a little bit more protection. This, I can see this biting. You can see, even if you choke up on it, you can see my finger there, it's biting into it already. It's by this part is, you know, it's a great knife, but it's where you're not gonna get that with the 1221. Um, they both have the thumb blood groove. I call it the thumb blood groove. Synthetic handle, as opposed to stacked leather finish handle. Um, blades are the same length. Of course, this one is serrated. This one is um, straight edge, um, both of them clip point. But there's the comparison. Um, nothing wrong with this. This knife has served in our military since uh, before World War II. Um, a lot of soldiers counted on this thing, you know, for their lives. It deserves a lot of respect. It's probably, it should be the most respected knife in the collection, this one here. Um, but as with everything, um, even the leather sheath, you see it says U.S. Marine Corps for this one. This is K-Bar. As with everything, there's always an opportunity to upgrade. And that's what K-Bar decided to do. Um, they did a great job with this over mold. Again, just want to do some comparison. This is the K-Bar <coughs> Big Brother. Like I told you, we got some guest stars today. There's the Big Brother. And the Big Brother's a little dusty because I actually had it in the, another collection. I had to go dig it out for this video. But as you can see, the Big Brother is wider. We have that serrated edge on the back of the Big Brother. <laughs> the straight edge there. Um, yeah, I just see looking at my my, my my videographer, my director, just eyes just bugged out like, what the hell? <laughs> so it's like, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Um, but I've actually taken this, I believe I took this on a trip where we went shooting one time and this was my side knife. This was, this was my actual carry knife. So this is the big brother as compared to the, uh, the that 1221. Act, that actually is a beautiful knife. This is, I, I this, have to say. Now, well, I, I like the feedback and, and yeah, it just gives you a little bit more substantial. Again, pinned with the rat tail, which is my only down, pinned with the rat tail. I, not a can't not a total cancellation, just something that to consider when you're talking about handling a knife or whatever. I guess the only thing I really be worried about with any of this is the prying. Cause then you would just have the everything would be on the rat tail as opposed to excuse me, a full tang knife. So I'm gonna put that away. And last treat but not least treat, we have a special guest. Okay. Again, here we have the K-Bar combat sheath. Real quick, because I'm going to do a video on this sheath with all the stuff that goes on with it, but I wanted to produce it, show you guys that, you know, we actually have several K-Bars. K-Bar overload! It's K-Bar overload! No, I'm not going to do that shit. <laughs> but we have a lot of K-Bars in the collection, and here's another K-Bar in this full combat sheath, and it's just ridiculous. The sheath, I love it, but I wanted, I just had, since I dipped into the K-Bar box, um, I just wanted to bring all of them out, and this is like overdone with the extra extra straps and everything, whatever. But we'll do a video on that by itself, but I just wanted to bring that out. Now, <clears throat> so, again, end result, or final judgment here. Um, again, this is of the, two or three K-Bars that you've seen. This is my choice for if you, you know, told me, well, you can only carry one K-Bar combat knife. This would be the K-Bar. This is the K-Bar. Um, great balance, great knife, great steel. Not crazy about the finish, but I could do some stuff with that. Um, great, solid, dependable knife. And ultimately it gets the hammer down. Approval. We, we definitely happy with this purchase. It's one of our best um, knives in the collection. I love it. And um, yeah, it fits in with his brothers and sisters and, and, and we're happy with it. So 
guys listen if you like what we do here so far if you want to you know see more make sure you like and subscribe down below send me messages let me know give me some feedback i love um keep it positive we here there's no no here there's no negative here we're having fun we're talking about different knives and you know i'll feed off of whatever you give me and we'll go from there and uh yeah so this one's over listen remember cut away guys be careful be safe out there and i'll see you next time peace